What is up? What is up? What is up, y'all? It's your girl, the nasty girl. What is up? So, today is June 12th. June 12th. We are already halfway through the month of June, almost. Um, happy Pride. Still is Pride Month. Happy Pride. Um, you know, I went back. Normally, I don't do this, but I went back and watched my last week video and I noticed that it was like this little popping noise in the background and stuff. So I had did it in the car. I don't know if it was the air condition or whatever it was going on. So I'm sorry y'all had to hear uh, the popping noise. Like something was farting. On a, <laughs> nah, it wasn't that far. But, you know, I think it was the air condition or something because I had did it late, late in the day. Uh, because I let my dad get away from it before doing a video. I'm not doing that today. I'm doing it early. So, um, I hope y'all enjoyed the last video. Now, one thing I didn't talk about, because I talked about, you know, going to Janet Jackson concert. One thing I didn't talk about at the Janet Jackson concert, how these people was passing out at the Janet Jackson concert. So, um, Ludacris open. So, we didn't act the fool with Ludacris. Then it's intermission. And, you know, we had Cynthia Woods. That's our side. It's hot outside, but it wasn't as hot as you would think it is because the sun went down by the time Janet come on. sun and went down. You know, they got a couple of fans born, but it ain't that hot because I hadn't turned my fan, my little fan on I brought with me. Uh, Boom. Janet hit the stage. Just laid it two rows back. Just passed out. Boom. Hit the floor. So now we looking. I'm trying to watch Janet and look. I said, these fools are spent. I've seen, I seen literally, and this is no joke. I'm not exaggerating. I've seen six people being rolled out. Because they come with the wheelchair and get them in the wheelchair and then just roll them, roll them to the EMS area. So I've seen uh, six people rolled out. And all of them was like, like out of there. So I don't know if it was Janet. I don't know if they were drinking too much in the humidity. Uh, but I feel like... Um, we should know our bodies, and you and we getting older. Uh, we should know, and it was this was it was it was, and it wasn't like the real old people too, cause I had a couple. They looked like they was in their sixties on the side of me. It was two ladies behind me, looked like they was about in their seventies behind me. So it wasn't the age range went from the youngest I saw that was probably about twelve, thirteen, to seventy, eighty years old. So. Um, and it wasn't like the older people getting rolled. It was like people my age getting rolled at. So I need y'all to drink more water. I need y'all to drink more water. Drink more water. Hydrate yourself. Before you came out there, you should have drunk a bottle of Gatorade because you knew you was going to be outside and you knew it was going to be hot. Yeah, it's shaded, but you knew you was going to be hot. And we was under the cover part. This ain't even the people on the ground. And they did roll one way from the back up to our way so i don't i don't know what they had going on but they rolled uh i gotta i gotta change this i gotta so some some people know and some people don't but i i am diabetical uh -huh. and i made my doctor put me on one of these things so i can keep track of my numbers and stuff like that but i can put this little cover on it because I bought my arm. I sleep bad, so I need something to help it stay in place. So I need to change the little. I didn't know it had came up that much on my arm, so I'm gonna have to change that out after uh after my shower. So um but yeah, so uh, drink more water. So um I know I said I was gonna uh talk about different stuff I, I didn't really see no comments about anybody wanting to know about anything so it's it's, it's some that I'm, I'm i'm learning about so um different uh these different sexualities that's out there you know it's a demisexual it's a um now i consider myself a sapiosexual uh even though that is not uh, that is not a gender identity for me it's just that i'm a lover of words and the brain uh, so that's what it is. So if you intellectual and you can talk nerdy, talk to me, that, that is really right up my alley. So that's what it, that is not a gender identity, but I know demisexual is one of them. 
you know, you got pansexuals, you got androgynous. I like the androgynous people. I love androgyny. I think they are the most beautiful thing in the world. So, uh, y'all should go and look and see y'all learning new words. So, when I'm telling y'all this, y'all need to go and look it up and find out what these mean. There's some other ones out there. I'm 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 trying to say some some new ones every every week. I think I got two more Mondays to go. So I'm trying to throw y'all out some some words to learn or some sexualities to learn because you know everybody don't identify as the same thing. You know, back in the day, uh, no, I'm not I'm not gonna even go to back in the day what they called people back in the day because it, it's just rude and. Um, they just didn't know no better, I guess you could say. And I guess living in the times now, we got to learn, like, you know, people, you know, the world is ever changing and people are changing what they, you know, what they want to be, who they want to be and and all that. Like, you know, they, uh, you know, I've had my parents say, like, uh, what's the baby name? Bruce Jenner. You know, how he changed his sexuality and, you know. And, you know, back in them days, they couldn't they couldn't come out like that back in them days. And he was like, why you wait till he was, you know, had all these kids and, you know, he's 60-some years old and then he want to transition. Well, this is the time where he feels comfortable with transitioning uh, to who he, he wanted to be. So, um, and, it, and it's a little less, you know, you still have people that frown upon it, but, you know, it's a little less frowned upon. So, he felt comfortable in, in doing what he needed to do. Um, so, I hope more people can be comfortable in their skin. And, um, you know, uh, be who they want to be. Now, me, uh, technically, I wanted to be a boy just so I wouldn't have a period. Like, growing up, I wanted to be a boy. When I got my period, I didn't want to be no girl no more. I wanted the, I wanted the wee-wee because I didn't want no period no more. That was the only reason. But as I grew older and knew the power of the poo use, <laughs> um, I'm very, very much comfortable in my skin the way I am now, uh, and how I was I was born to be. Uh, but um, yeah, uh, when I was younger, I, I wanted to be a boy just because I didn't even know you could. You know, back then you didn't know you could do that kind of stuff i just wanted to be a boy so i wouldn't have to have no period they ain't have to wear you know i ain't gotta go buy pads and you know worry about you know messing your clothes up and so that was the only reason why i wanted to to be a boy back in the day uh and then you know once i developed and learned you know my skills and my pimp hand got stronger then uh i knew what I could do, you know what I'm saying? But th that was the only reason why I wanted to be a boy, because I had a period, and I didn't want a period, and boys didn't have periods, so that's why I wanted to be a boy. But other than that, I'm very comfortable in what I I still don't want a period. I still don't want it. I still don't want it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to figure out how to get rid of it sooner or later. So, um, yeah, go look up those those few terms I, I, I said, and, and, you know, Educate. It's, it's it's good to educate ourselves on new things coming out, cause then you don't want to feel like you you dumb too when you know you hear these new words. Well, what is that? What is that? Cause new things are coming out day to day. So I'm gonna try to throw some more out there for y'all. Now look, I ain't really watched nothing. I ain't really watched nothing this week, so I can't tell y'all about nothing this week. Uh, I know the Flash come out next week, so I'm gonna try to get into the Flash and see if I can flash. I didn't, uh, I tried to watch Transformers, but I didn't get a chance to get to the theater to watch Transformers. So, I'm going to eventually see it. I hope I hope I can see it this week, and I hope I can finish The Little Mermaid, because I haven't watched all of The Little Mermaid yet. Shame on me. But, uh, I think that's all I got for y'all. Look, let's, let's get better with being comfortable in our skin. That's what it is for today. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. And if you do, do it better. Deuces.